Good morning, world. How do you define success? Brian and I went out to the community a few days ago at our favorite little brewery, Stone Church Brewery, in the Dos Lagos Shopping Center, and we posed that question to a variety of people. And we got different answers, and a lot of it depended upon the age demographics. Stay tuned to the end of this video as you listen to everybody else to see how Brian and I define success. I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. This is Cedric and Brian. All right, Cedric. Hey, it's good to have you back. Good to be back. Did you have fun up there camping? I did. Yeah. I had a great time. Yeah. I showed the people, for those of you who watched last week's episode, Cedric missed a couple times with that axe. I know I know he did his little dance, but... <laughs> I needed my buddy there to edit so I could look a lot better than I really did it there, but he wasn't there to film me. <laughs> we went out, and Cedric interviewed people. I was behind the camera, and uh, we had people from... from all walks of life there at Dos Lagos. Yeah, and I'll be honest. I mean, it's a little apprehensive. Again, we're still new at this. We're getting our feet wet. And so uh, if you could hear our playful banter when we talk about, no, no, no. Brian's like, I'm going to hold the camera. You interview me. So <laughs> if you get punched or socked, I'll get the bail money and <laughs> things like that. But you find that most people are really receptive. And with this uh, concept, people really kind of jumped on it and said, yeah, I want to share my thoughts. Doing what you love doing being able to live comfortably doing it. Nice retirement. Um, just help our kids, you know, make sure that they become successful. You know what was interesting though? When we did, if you look back at our taboo video about three weeks ago, we didn't have one person say no to us. And, and they didn't know what we were going to ask. And people didn't know what we were going to ask this time. But we did have a couple no's. And it wasn't nearly as embarrassing <laughs> as that taboo. And you can watch it up there. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. But uh, some of the people that we interviewed, um, the young lady with the three kids, she was awesome. And she gave an incredible definition of what success means to her. Success for me is being able to balance three children and a growing business with 32 employees. <laughs> and then I love the, the, the couple from Texas who uh, joined the church plant. Success. It's a good one. I'm a pastor. Uh, a church in town, so success would be uh, using your God-given potential to make a difference for what God's called you to in life. And uh, we asked them, well, where are you from? They said, we moved out here from Texas to California. And I know me and Brian looked at each other and said, wow, you guys did it backwards, because not everybody's leaving California to, to Texas. To Texas. <laughs> so I said, wow, that, that's pretty successful right there. That you yeah. guys are doing it backwards. So, so we had a good time. We always enjoy going out and doing the, uh, the interviews. Pedro, our question today is, how do you define success? For me, I feel like it would be just accomplishing all of my goals. Accomplish like, all your goals? Yeah, like feel happy with where I'm at in life. I kind of have to agree with him as well. I feel like, you know, accomplishing what your goals are. Uh, I think I would have to agree as well with them, man. Probably at, at least, not, not being on your way, but at least completing all of your goals. In case you guys are wondering, these, these people are not plants. No. <laughs> they are not active. These are people that we approach on the sidewalk and on the streets and just ask them questions. And you'll see some of them. We, we act to some people and, and they'll sink into their chair like when you don't want to be called on in school. They see us walking with a camera and they're like, oh no, and they just will try to disappear into the ether. This is Cedric of Cedric and Brian and we are with Denise from Stone Church Brewery. Oh. And Denise, our question for you tonight is, how do you define success? Ooh. Living comfortably. Like success is more of like a personal question, it's more like what you achieve that you want that makes you feel good, but it might not necessarily be like what makes other people feel good. Is that, so it's a personal thing? Yeah. The drive to continue to do what you're passionate about, I believe is success. It doesn't have too much to do with money in a sense. It's, it's if you're happy, if you're, if you're content. Just being happy and having your, like your whole foundation set. My success is as long as my kids are happy, they're graduating college, this, that. That's my success, so I'm happy with that. Uh, if you're happy in life. If you're happy and you know it? Mm -hmm. All right, are you happy? <laughs> I am. So it, by that definition, you are being successful? Yes. When I look at my happiness level through my family, that's how I determine my success. Your personal achievements, so if you set yourself to a standard and you achieve it and go above and beyond it, I think that's very much defined success to me. Success to me is um, you really don't have to look back on anything. People going out and helping others, that that's a big part of success is if you're willing to help others get on their feet. 
Do you remember what your earlier definition was when you were starting out? I probably would have said to just make money. Yes. I thought like earlier when I was younger, the success of money, blah, blah, blah. Definitely. How's it changed? Yeah, because before it was all about money, but not necessarily what makes you happy. Yeah, I, uh, I wish I could be better. Um, a better mother, a better CEO. Of course, I always have a ways to go, but I think I'm making big moves this year to be more successful in my life. Currently, yes. Awesome. Yes. I do. I challenge myself all the time. And, you know, challenging yourself, too, I believe is a way of becoming successful. Well, with all that, that's a great definition. With all that being said, do you feel like you're being successful? You know, at the moment, I really don't because right now I, I am struggling financially, but I'm looking to be successful by getting another job, um, something that'll pay more uh, than what I'm making now, um, making sacrifices that, that I need to make. That way I can get to where I want to be. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. No problem. So we caught you off guard. Well, I just love watching people's reactions to us. And then I like they're just honest. They really seem to like that question, even though it yeah. is kind of a deep question. Yeah. And so it was fun. So Cedric, how do you define success? For me, success, there's, there's a great book that I read over 15 years ago, and it's called Success, the Glenn Bland Method. And in that book, the author talks about how success is described as the progressive realization of a worthwhile dream or goal. And that just resonated with me all these years. So you're, you're always in the process of pursuing something that is important to you. And uh, secondly, most important to me is that don't ever compare yourself to anybody else because my success isn't Brian's success and, and vice versa. Success is being the best you can be in the moment. And, that's, and that almost sounds like a cop out, like you can it's an excuse to fail. It's not. As long as you're better than you were the day before, you're being successful. It's a great lesson because we live in the, the Facebook generation and Instagram and all that. That's a good point. The grass is always greener. That's an old saying. There's a reason it's an old saying. You look at people and you think that they're just having this great life because they're posting their pictures of their family and their family trips. And Living then it, my best life. Yeah, and then the next month you find out they're getting a divorce. So you cannot compare yourself to this perfect vision that everybody puts up online. Right. Otherwise, you will never feel successful. So I got to share a little bit about what success means to me. But Brian, I've always viewed you as a pretty successful guy. What does success mean to you? Well, to me, success was meeting Cedric. That fulfilled my life in immeasurable ways. <laughs> now, alluding back to some of the, the people that we actually interviewed, uh, come, some of them hit on, on exactly how I feel. Happiness. It's so hard to be happy, it seems, if you look at the statistics. So being a happy person, to me, is fulfilling a certain goal that I've had, and I think that should be a goal for a lot. So I feel successful in that I'm generally happy I have a beautiful family, uh, we're able to take trips together, giving to others, so just fulfilling and giving things to my family that I can, I feel successful because I can do that. Right. Of course, like people said, when you're younger, making money, you know? Chasing money. Yeah, you, you thought success, you heard the word success, and you, they always had the dollar sign and the S, because right. that's what people said, oh, success, that means you, you've made money. Yes, you do want to make a living because you want to be able to pursue other things. You want to be able to take care of your family. So for me, I wanted to be successful in business because I wanted to do the other things. I wanted to be happy. I wanted to make my family happy. And I wanted to be able to them to pursue their success. Right. <laughs> but uh, we had a lot of fun. I mean, we learned a lot by doing this segment. I mean, we, we had our own definitions of success, but it was nice to get out there in the community and find out what you guys thought success was. So with that being said, guys, please leave your comments in the, um, in the comment section on what you believe success is, what it means to you, because we know it resonates with people in different ways. But uh, until then, I'm Cedric. Hold on, Cedric. You know, before you do that, <laughs> in order to help us We've continue We've only been doing this for two months now, and I still have to remind them about... To help us continue being successful, we need you guys to do a few things for us. We need you to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Yes. For those of you who have been following us for a long time, it has taken me forever <laughs> to get that down. I finally got it down. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, but please leave your comments in the comment section on what you think success is. And then please share this with somebody so that we can succeed on our YouTube channel. <laughs> <All right. laughs> but um bum. <laughs> Ching.
Until then, I'm Cedric. And I'm Ryan. We'll see you later.